is the introduction to the game that we're going to make. <laughs> Keep the arrows, honey. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, so I'm Chelsea Laffey. I am going to be the producer for our team. Um, I am also working on engineering and designing. The person doing the clicking is Monica. She is doing designing, art, and engineering. Katie is hiding in the corner <laughs> and will be designer, art, and engineering. And then Thomas, our lone dude in the sea of estrogen, is designer, <laughs> engineer, and artist. So the game that we are going to be making is called Decked Out Dungeons. Um, so let's talk about the details for that. So our game is going to be a combination between a dungeon crawler and card-based combat game. Um, it's going to take place with an ambiguous main character who has been hooded, uh, mostly so that we don't have to decide if it's a male or a female, and you guys get to make that decision as players. Um, they've been tried by a high court of magicians who have said that they've done something evil, which is yet to be decided, and they have been locked away in the bottom of a dungeon. Um, so as a safeguard, they took all of their magical powers and put them into magical decks of cards that were going to be scattered throughout the dungeons. Um, this is going to take place in a medieval magical world where conventional physical laws don't necessarily hold. Um, this is so that we can have a setting of being underneath of a tower without actually being restricted to the space that would actually be underneath of a tower. <laughs> So what our gameplay is going to look like. Um, we are sticking with 2D for the sake of our own abilities. Um, you'll be able to run around the actual dungeons and you will encounter things at different rooms in the dungeons. Uh, within the dungeon though, you'll be able to pick up gold and health items and there will be breakable interactables. So combat itself is going to be one card at a time, unless you, you get lucky and you get a critical, which will allow you to increase your ability to play cards or will do additional damage. Um, cards are going to have four basic types, so earth, water, fire, and neutral. Neutral is going to be things like um, being able to poke something or something that wouldn't otherwise be tied to an element. Um, and the health bar that you have in an encounter is going to be carried across encounters. And now for Nerdo. <laughs> Just keep going. It was cute. So now the hooks. Um, so because we are combining the two things together, there are a couple of things that make our game unique and should hopefully draw in players. Our exploration within the dungeon will be WASD based, which normally in card games is not. It is a node system where you have to like say, yes, I'm going to go to the next game. Um, we are also are doing completely prefabricated decks. So I don't know how many of you have played uh, the CCGs that have become more popular, but personally our group has found that there is a very high overhead to the beginning of them where you don't have all of the cards, you can't necessarily make the really strong decks, um, you kind of get screwed into a system of having to play, pay in order to play effectively. We've decided to avoid that by making cart, like decks be attainable within the game and they are completely pre-constructed. So no one's going to find like a game breaking deck. And finally, we've decided not to use a mana system because there is nothing that sucks more than drawing your, I can kill everything on the board, but I don't have enough mana for 60 more turns. <laughs> And to give you guys a little hint of what we have so far, we made a short video. So this is kind of the template of how combat will work. Uh, still a little rough. And then we can also break barrels. Hey! 